Hello everyone and welcome back to the Learn SBOM channel. I am Liam and today I'm going to be showing you Bomber, a tool for finding vulnerabilities in existing SBOM files which works on Linux and Mac. I'm going to show you how to install this tool then walk you through some demos. I've spun up a virtual machine running Ubuntu and installed Bomber by downloading the current release from their GitHub page and using this command in the relevant directory. I also have some example SBOMs pulled from the web in this SBOMs folder. Starting with the simplest possible configuration, we can run Bomber on this example SBOM. Here we have the output. The data is pulled from OSV at the moment, but Sync and Sonatype OSS index are both supported as well. I will not be using them because they require accounts to use, even if in the case of Sonatype the account is free. Here we have the list of dependencies, versions, CVEs and their severities, and EPSS scores. EPSS stands for Exploit Prediction Scoring System which is a scoring system from FIRST. It represents the probability of an exploit being exploited in the wild. The idea is that you have limited resources to throw at fixing vulnerabilities, so you should focus on the vulnerabilities threat actors might actually exploit before fixing the vulnerabilities that are less likely to be exploited. I, a higher percentage is worse. At the top here, we have licenses, which can help developers avoid license poisoning which is when a downstream dependency incorporates a license which has terms you don't want to agree to. Usually, this is a license requiring upstream projects to be open source. Moving on, let's make the same report, but as an HTML page. This page has the same vulnerabilities as the command line output, but is slightly more verbose. Some of these vulnerabilities have information pulled from the CVE, like suggested workarounds or available patches. Finally, I'm going to run Bomber on this whole folder of SBOMs. Here, you can see the entire folder was processed, both SPDX and CDX merged into one report. As for my thoughts on this tool, the ease of use and installation is definitely a plus. There is room for tools which are exactly what they need to be and nothing more, and this tool is rather simple. If all you need to do is look through an SBOM provided by an external vendor for vulnerabilities, then this tool is amazing. It's simple gives you all the information you want without lots of information you don't want. However, most of the features of this tool are covered by other tools which also generate SBOMs or check code for poor security practices or do something else. If the quality of the report makes this tool the one you need, go grab it. But most people are just going to use the vulnerability scanner present in their SBOM generator or other tool. I still think that this is the best vulnerability scanner I have used. I just don't think it is worth a different tool for the increase in quality because it's not a big difference. As for things I would like to see, the ability to scan multiple providers at once would make this a very cool tool, and I think it would stand out enough from the other similar tools to carve out a niche for it. 
Also, the ability to sort the HTML output by vulnerability severity, or EPSS, with a little JavaScript would be very cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to us at learnsbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.